Now my first software company, I scaled to about $200,000 in the first year. And I did all of that without knowing how to code. I did everything on my own. It's just me who built it and it's just me who marketed it. In this video, I wanna show you exactly how to come up with an idea that you can guarantee results with. You can guarantee you're gonna start making money from it. Now the stuff I'm gonna go through in this video, I've gone through in a lot more detail in my paid community linked down below. But, but I wanna help you find a winning product idea and make sure that you validated that product before you launch it. So the easiest way to do this is to take you through the story of how I launched Chat IQ. The first thing you need to do is come up with the idea. And I came up with the idea about six months before I actually launched it. And that six months I spent validating the product. Validating the product is the most important thing that you can do before you launch. Because the most common thing that people do when they start with software is building something straight away. They want to know how to build the product and they want to go ahead and start building. Because it's the most fun part. Creating something like a software is really, really fun. You want to make sure you don't fall into that trap. Why? Well, if it takes you three months to build a product, that could be three months wasted if nobody pays for it. But if you'd actually done the research beforehand, they would have told you not to pursue this project because they wouldn't pay for it, or there's another solution out there, or they can't see the value in it. So what do you need to do? Well, first of all, come up with an idea and come up with a few ideas. Just open up notes on your phone and just continually add to the ideas. Have a look at Reddit, see what other people are talking about. Just go into communities and see what problems people face. Now, I'm in the B2B space, which is business to business, and it's significantly easier to make money in software in the B2B space because you can charge more for your product. If you can make a business money or you can save a business money, it's much easier for them to justify the price of your product. Now, my product costs anywhere between $50 to $500 per month. And the reason people pay for it is because they can save more than that and make more than that from using my product. Now, if I were to go into the B2C space, which is business to customer, and I were to make a product for anybody, it's much harder to justify the price. For example, Duolingo is an app which helps people learn languages, but it's much harder to justify justify charging a high price point for that product. The other thing to really mention here is when you're building and coming up with an idea, you want to find something that's either going to do one of three things. It's either going to make people money, save them money, or automate a painful time-consuming process that they face in their business. So once you've got the idea, you want to put together a minimum viable product, an MVP. You can do this in multiple ways. The way I did it was using bubble.io to put together a very simple design for the product. It didn't functionally work, but I could show people what the product looked like. So it had a simple simple chatbot area. It had a way of you embedding it onto a website. It had a way of showing you chat conversations. And then what I did is I went onto LinkedIn and I found 10 different business owners and spoke to them got them on a demo call and showed them the product. Now I have done multiple videos showing you how to find people through LinkedIn. So go ahead, check out the channel and there's a lot more stuff in the community if you wanna get access to that. But when you speak to these people, you're gonna learn some really important things. For example, they're gonna tell you the features that they want. They're gonna tell you the things that they don't like about it. And just by talking to them, you're gonna learn specifically what they would like to achieve by using your product, the results that they want to get from using your product. This is what's gonna make sure you decide if you proceed with building this product or not. Now I did this with Chat IQ. I booked about 20 different sales calls, demo calls with various businesses and agency owners and I showed them my software. And every single one of them said, this is awesome, I want it. So when you talk to these business owners, you need to ask them a few questions. First of all, would they sign up for it? Yes or no? If they're yes, how much would they pay for it? And then you're gonna ask them for other features and things they would like to see from it. You're also gonna try and work out exactly what your value proposition is from that product. In other words, you need to work out exactly why they are paying for that product and the result that they're getting from it. If you get enough positive feedback and you need to set your own performance indicators, decide what's positive and what's not. But if you get enough positive feedback, then you can go ahead and start building the product. So why do we need to validate the product first? Well, imagine if you'd spent three months building a product took it to market, tried to sell it, and nobody paid for it. You'd feel demotivated, disheartened, and you'd feel like you were a complete failure. But in reality, if you'd taken that idea, put together an MVP in a matter of hours, shown some business owners, they would have told you three months ago that it wasn't worth pursuing. So please do not fall into that trap. Okay, so we've got the idea. We've now built the MVP. What do we need to do now? Well, the next thing to do is start marketing. This sounds really stupid because you haven't yet got the product and it's really difficult to wrap your head around. But here's what you need to do. There's two options. You've got a pre-sale or you've got a wait list. Doesn't matter which one you choose. If you need to generate money quickly so you can spend the time working on it, for example, if you're working a job and you need
need money to basically justify the time, then you're going to do a pre-sale. It's much harder to get those working. For you, I'd recommend a very basic waitlist. Now, the reason we do a waitlist is because we're building a targeted audience of people who would use our product when we're ready for launch. Now, I have done a video on this on my own channel where I tried to launch a new software product. But the principle is this. If you start posting videos on YouTube or TikTok, those videos will generate views which generate interest. You push those people to a link in your bio and on that link, it is basically just an email opt-in form. If you don't know what an opt-in form is, it's literally an input box to put your email in. If they put their email in, you've now captured that person's information. You then create a newsletter, which basically means every day or every two or three days, whichever works for you, put out an email telling people about the progress of the product that you're building. This is basically building a product using the community. You can get feedback from the community and see what specific features they want to add. You can then prioritize different features based on the feedback from that community. You also have people ready to buy the product when you launch because they feel like they've been part of the process. Now, the reason most people don't do this is because they're worried that somebody else is going to see their idea and steal it. I don't know about you though. I would much rather have somebody steal my idea, but also have a thousand people who are ready to buy my product than have nobody know about my idea and nobody to launch to after I spent three months building it. When you've done that, you want to launch to a free trial. Ignore anybody else out there who says to just do a freemium model or some other crap. The only thing you need to do is either charge for a free trial or charge up front. Those are the only two things because we're doing this to make money. If you're not doing a free trial, people who join your product are just gonna use it for free. They're not valuable to you. Yes, they'll give you some feedback, but they're not gonna share your product enough for it to scale rapidly. And you need money to operate that business. You need money to pay for the costs in your business. And if they're not paying you for the product, you cannot sustain the business. That is it, it's as simple as that. Also, those people who are using it for free are very unlikely to upgrade. Typically, you get about a 2% conversion rate of the people who sign up for free actually paying for the product. That is minuscule. I get about 80% of the people who sign up for a free trial paying for the product. Just look at those two difference in numbers. I could scale 10, 20, 30, 40 times quicker than you can because I am only bringing on customers who are willing to pay for it. If they're willing to put down their card details, put their money where their mouth is and use the product, I know that I'm gonna get much more valuable feedback and also I can grow that company significantly quicker. So that is the easiest and quickest way to start building your software company. And guys, if you wanna get access to my paid community and my course, go ahead and click the top link down below in the description. It is a paid membership, but I will see you guys in my next video.